Yeah, she said, um, this is how the conversation started. She said, I'm a, I'm a, a negative. Do you think I'm a reptilian? And what's your blood type? I said a negative. Then no, I don't think you are. As far as I'm concerned, just as long as you have that monkey part of you, the RH factor, the RH rhesus monkey, then you're more than likely not a hybrid. And I don't know what my blood type is. I've, I've been curious to know that myself for a while now. I doubt I'm a RH negative. Um, and then she said, RH negative blood types are A negative, B negative, AB negative, and O negative. So I don't have the rhesus monkey part. You can get a home blood test on Amazon for $7. I bet you are a negative blood type. I said, uh, every, negative, every RH negative person I've ran into are some of the most dishonest people around. They seem to be very insecure too, but they mask it very well by being edgy and hiding behind a system. They are likely, and for, from what I've experienced, the worst among humankind, and I doubt they're full human. I all, I'm also not left-handed, nor am I both. I doubt I'm a RH negative. If I am, though, it will certainly change my perspective on them, but I doubt it. I also don't see any strong lizard. I also don't sense any strong lizard connection about myself either. Um, then I told her I'm definitely taking the test though. Just bought it on Amazon now. Thanks for sharing. And then she said, I'm not left-handed either. I definitely don't feel like a lizard, although my eyes change colors and I have red hair. Um, and I noticed that's like a common thing among RH negative blood types. And their eye, they, they, you know, their eyes are always changing colors. I've seen quite a few of them post videos on Facebook showing this you know this change of color in their eyes and it just really reminds me when you're looking at their eyes it just really reminds me of something like you'd see like from a uh, a lizard or a like you know like a chameleon or something you know it's it's weird but anyways uh she went on to say most of my family are a, are RH negative in my opinion they are good and bad RH negatives just like there are good and bad RH positives the worst of the RH negatives are the ones in power trying to control the world, such as most royalty, the Bushes, Clintons, and, and Obamas. They are all all related. We're not all bad. Don't be disappointed if you are a RH negative. If you weren't RH negative, you probably would not have noticed things, the things going on with the negatives. Not that we're any better than positives, but we tend to notice each other. You know, and and, and I doubt, you know, I honestly think that these uh these RH negatives like um they they I think they honestly I think they truly believe like deep down inside that they're better than everyone else, and and that's definitely the feeling that I get each time I'm talking to one of them you know like they always have to say add that little clarifier at you know at they usually always have to add a little clarifier when they're talking to you like you know like trying to get one up on you not that we're any better than positives but we tend to you know um but anyways uh. I went on to say, laugh out loud, you liked your own comment, and she did like her own comment. Very typical RH behavior. Anyways, that's what all you guys say. We're not all bad, but yet you certainly don't do anything to demonstrate that unlikely fact. Um, laugh out loud, and something tells me you're convincing yourself that I will, and, and I, mis, I misread her comment. I thought she said that, um, don't be disappointed if you aren't a RH negative. I didn't realize she said, don't be disappointed if you are. Um, but anyways, I said, laugh out loud, and somebody tells me you're convincing yourself that I will be disappointed if I don't end up being an RH negative blood type. Stiff, sniffing your own farts, I take it. Flattering yourself, which is no surprise to me. You are someone who would also like, who would also like their own comments, too, which is just another form of sniffing your own farts. If I don't end up being an RH negative blood type, trust me, I won't. I won't be. It will be the opposite feeling, because honestly, I don't believe you guys can reach the same potential as those who aren't hybrids who aren't hybrids can and every RH negative blood type that I have ran into seems to show a very big dependence upon the system I sometimes even wonder if your people have a godhead of any sort this is the reason why I said my entire outlook on RH negative blood types would change if I was a RH negative blood type myself because I know what I'm capable of I know of my godhead and I know I have the capability of putting someone like you in their place for good you likely know that I know too. I also find it extremely weird that most of you uh, flock to occult based videos like my own, yet your kind only make up about 3% of the population. Well, it's actually, she said uh, 15%, and I think she might be right. I think I'm wrong on that. So, But it's still it, it, it's still a very small number, 15%, you know. But, um, but anyways, though, uh, 
But yeah, I said like Moss to Light, MK Ultra, Silence of the Lambs. Well, some of us non-hybrid right-handers aren't lambs. You know this. This is why you fear us, especially when we're engulfed in light, armed with occult knowledge and power. If we were to ascend out of Plato's cave, your kind would likely end up on our dinner table. Instead of it being the other way around, like it is as long as we're stuck in Plato's cave. RH and negative blood types are likely hybrids created by the aliens that control the system. They are foot soldiers to keep humanity from waking up, ascending, so we can remain an exploit. Um, and then she said, I, I, said I, I said that I thought you would be disappointed if you, if you are a RH negatives. Negative, not the other way around. Also, the fact that RH negatives are attracted to videos like you are making makes me think that you are RH negative most likely. Also, we make up 15% of the world population, not three. I've been trying to find out the truth about my blood since no one knows. You are just trying to start a war between two possible different species. And that I am. You got that right. Um, and, and I'm doing it for good for good reason, too, because these, these fucking aliens and, and their hybrids are hostiles. Um, and, uh, so, you know, we can never see eye to eye, you know, it's, it's best that, you know, people, if you, if you're around an RH negative, they're, they're going to do nothing but get it, get in your way when, when it comes to, you know, being in Plato's cave and I'm, and I'm about to bring up, and if, and if you don't believe me, and I'm sure there's quite a few people that are listening, listening to this right now, thinking that I just sound like some, uh, asshole without a good reason to uh dislike these people but i'm gonna but i'm gonna bring up a really good point right now that will prove to you guys that you know if these people if these people are um re reptilian hybrids then you know then uh then you know you're i'm gonna show you guys through through a movie that um that you know that because i mean it just Go to, you know, one of these conspiracy videos because, I mean, it's weird how I say that, you know, they, they make up a very small minority within, within you know, the human population. And yet these kind flock to uh, conspiracy videos, occult-based videos like my own. And, and you could go to any occult-based uh, web page or, you know, Facebook page or, or, or uh, YouTube, you know, videos that, that, are, that talk about the reptilians or the powers of the mind and all that. And, and you'll always see... A shitload of RH negative blood types flock to these videos, and like, uh, like for example, you know, like a, uh, like the video I pointed out not too long ago, a uh, rich black man's video, and, and on his, his video talking about uh, RH negative blood types. If you go to that video, you'll see like you know pretty much everybody, you know, a lot of a good portion of those comments, like 40, 50 percent of those comments are from RH negative blood types, even saying they're RH, RH negative and, and lying about how they're psych. I mean, well, you know, they're not so much lying about the psychic part because I, I truly believe they are, but, um, but they're lying about, uh, being here to help humanity and, 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 to, and to guide humanity to a session. And then they're sitting there pushing Christianity. A shitload of these RH negative blood types are always pushing Christianity and Christianity is a tool to, uh, remove occult knowledge and occult power out of the hands of the masses so we can be controlled by such um christianity it's based on a lie there is no divine jesus there is no there is no there is no god outside of yourself so you know um and and uh and it's it's based on a contradiction and there's no way that a contradiction can be true you know so um and and if you and if you believe in the possibility that that it can be, then you've thrown all logic and reason out of the window, and you might as well just believe in anything. I mean, like you know, even if I mean, you know, like maybe uh, there's unicorns that fly up in the air that you know uh, shit skittles, or you know, I mean, it, 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 I mean, you know, if you're gonna believe something that absurd, then I mean, then you've pretty much lost your mind i think you know that there's a saying and the saying goes you know uh it's good to know about the sauce um you know the sauce could be equivalent to uh, consciousness but you know but um it's good to know about the sauce because if you don't know about the sauce then you'll get lost but um but if you do know about the sauce then it's then it's you know the problem of you know drowning in the sauce you have to learn how to swim through it you know navigate through it because you could also drown in it too you know 
So um, there is two. So so you know there you always have to keep it balanced. You know you can't be too close-minded and you can't be too open-minded to where you just accept anything. You know and, and to where your brain falls out and melts. You know, but anyways um, but yeah I mean uh so you'll see a lot of these um RH negatives they uh always really try to push Christianity and, and Christianity is there to 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 you know knock you off that I mean it, it's there to keep these truths hidden from you and to keep you from ascending i mean it's 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 a, it's a program created by these aliens that control this world it's 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 a tool part of plato's cave that keeps you within the cave you know and um and it's it's a very dangerous dangerous religion and 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 i just you know i mean www.exposingchristianity.com you know um that it says it all. All you need to know about, you know, the, that cancerous, you know, shit religion. But anyways, um, going on, uh, she went on to say, uh, for your information, no one knows for sure if we are different species. Most scientists say it's a mutation, just like being albino or having red hair is a mutation. I'll look elsewhere for uh, information because you obviously don't have any answers. You don't even know your own blood type. You don't even know the uh, A negative blood type means rhesus negative. Um, I said cool, bye. And I'm still not far off on my knowledge. You guys still make up a very small minority. And yes, I know most scientists say it's a mutation, but how did that mutation occur? Where, where did it come from? That's what scientists can't seem to figure out. And most, if not all, admit this. And considering the fact that your kind flock to videos like mine and also try to push Christianity and other lies in the comment section of these videos, mind you, not all you, not all you seem to do this, but a good portion of you do, tells me that you guys are likely agents for the system. I'm also aware of the fact that a lot of you, if not all of you, are uh, also psychic. Therefore, you could see through people, get one over on a human being, get in the way of their obsession, which, which a lot of you seem to do, um, seem to also do. The movie The Cell with Jennifer Lopez reflects on this greatly, what a RH negative blood type is. The man in the movie, the bad guy, uh, there, there's, because, I mean, if anybody has ever seen the movie The Cell with Jennifer Lopez, um, it, it's it's basically a movie, it's, it's a crazy-ass movie, but, um, but the serial killer on that movie was, a, I believe, a reptilian hybrid, and, and, the, and the symbolism is quite blatant towards, towards the end of that movie. When um when he's uh, depicted as a reptilian, um with scales and shit like a humanoid reptilian creature and um and Jennifer Lopez at the end of that movie kills kills that part of him kills that reptilian creature, but in the process she also kills the human side of him which was represented by that you know that little boy that innocence that innocent side you know that innocent side to all human beings because we're all you know victims to the system. And, and some of us are actually, you know, turned into hybrids, which, you know, I kind of feel sorry for this person, you know, if she truly is. If, the, if these people truly are fucking uh, part reptilian, then, you know, there's there's a part of their soul that is also reptilian. And this and this part of them would would always be at, be at conflict uh, with the human part. So they'll always be in they'll always be in conflict with themselves. So, you know, um since there are two souls pretty much in one uh two different species and and you know the r complex you know the uh, part of the brain which is known as the uh, the r the r complex part of the brain the reptilian part which is also the oldest part of our brains this is where you know territory i mean like you know uh territorial shit comes into play like you know uh you know lust um anger you know always wanting to get one up on, on another human being and all that. This would explain the reason why, you know, when you run into a lot of RH negatives, they always try to, you know, they always try to look down upon you and they always try to, you know, uh, put you down in some way to make themselves feel better or, you know, or say that, you know, they always have to get this pedestal over you. Oh, I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help you. We're, we're better than you, you know, like she just said in her first comment. She insinuated towards such, you know, that that she's better than. Um, I mean, those weren't her exact words, but it felt like to me, and and, and I've seen these RH negatives come straight out and say this too, that they are better. But if but it felt like to me, like you know, like she was insinuating that uh, she's better than you know, people that are not hybrids. 
So, um, so you know, that's that R complex coming into play here, you know, and um, and in the movie, the serial killer Carl, he couldn't control his R complex. He uh, he had to go out there and kill. He had to always find a way to get one up on another human being. And um, and they say that a lot of these serial killers are uh, reptilian hybrids themselves. And and I almost kind of wonder. I mean, if the, if I could find any studies on the internet that that could uh, you know, I mean that that could show that could show that could possibly show us what kind of blood types or or what kind of you know left if these most of these serial killers are left-handed, right-handed, or both-handed. You know, I mean that could give us some insight to whether or not these people really were hybrids. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, uh, yeah, the movie, the cell with, uh, Jennifer Lopez, I recommend, you know, I mean, it, it, there's some pretty good symbolism in it. I, I'm not too sure how true this symbolism is. I mean, I, I, I never really try to take any of these movies too hard because they could be, you know, lying and, and misleading people. But, um, but, you know, but from what I've seen when it came to, uh, when it comes to RH negatives, they're, they're scumbags. And, and 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 I've never met one that was really nice and that really didn't look down upon you in some way or try to get one up on you, you know, or or get in the way of your sent a session session or try to, you know, tell you lies and shit like that. Um, as far as I'm concerned, you know, they're they're they really are the worst among um, humankind. But, uh, you know, some of the worst kind of people anyways. But anyways, though, um. But yeah, uh, and then I also wanted to bring up that um, that Jennifer Lopez. So you know, in the movie though, but Jennifer Lopez kills that reptilian creature that side of Carl, and in the process she kills Carl too. She kills the little boy of him. So that went to show that you know that uh, you know that that's that's the hybrid sim symbology behind it, the symbolism. You know that he was a hybrid. He was a reptilian hybrid, and you and you just you know. You, she couldn't save the human part of him as it was one with with the reptilian. But anyways, um, but yeah, she was also dressed as the high priestess from the tarot too. You know, uh, what does the high priestess symbolize? The high priestess is the uh, is the um, the high priestess is the keeper of occult knowledge, the keeper of secrets. The high priestess knows of the physical world and the metaphysical. Um, she she uh is the seer uh, of things that are unseen. So, you know, um, the high priestess, Jennifer Lopez was dressed as the high priestess. And, um, and she, in the movie itself, she was able to travel through other people's dreams. So, you know, the dream aspect represents the astral. She was an astral traveler. And, 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 and the only way that you can um, peer into the metaphysical is by having a third eye open. This is the reason why I think these aliens and these aliens did. I mean, when I was trying to open up my third eye, and I came close to doing it, um, these aliens were here and they and they stopped me every step of the way. And, I mean, they, they put a stop to me opening my third eye. They did not want me to open my third eye. And um, and and if I would open my third eye, there's a, there's a good chance I would have saw people for I would have saw right through people and I would have knew who was a fucking drone, who was a hybrid, and who was a legit human being. And um and when you have that uh, third eye open, you're you're able to see you know that 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 reptilian side of those uh, hybrids. They can't hide out in the open anymore because they're shown. You know, um, since we live in an age where you know the male side rules, you know the uh, the 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 uh, logic and reason, logic and reason, the male side is empowered in this age. They they um they want to uh, keep the female side as suppressed as possible because because um if people were to uh tap into that female side of the soul open up their third eyes then they would then they would be able to put one and two together and realize that they're in plato's cave you know that this is a matrix and um and you know and aliens fucking control this shit and they have their you know their people right out here on the streets with us that that likely even know that too themselves and are keeping it a secret from you, you know, and some of these people could even be your own family members, you know, so, um, so yeah, uh, Jennifer Lopez, the high priestess, uh, 
And Jennifer Lopez herself is a reptilian. I mean, you see her do quite a bit of shape shifting in that movie too. By the way, it's just like uh, and, and the way she talks to some of those little boys in that movie too is just like downright creepy. But um, but yeah, it's anyway. So yeah, don't trust uh, Rh negatives. And and I'm gonna take this blood test soon. If <laughs> and if I turn out to be an Rh negative myself, then fucking um. Then, then I, then I, then I'm likely gonna take back um almost everything I say about these uh Rh negative people, um but I'm pretty sure I'm not an Rh negative person and and I'm bound to find out here, in you know a couple days. <laughs>